Welcome to another edition of Pike County Update. I'm Dr. James Riley, your host. I'm the coordinator of the English program at the University of Pikeville. My guests today are Celebra Bartley. She is a physician assistant at the Pike County Health Department and Deputy Judge Executive Brian Morris. We're pleased to have you guys here this morning. We have an important issue to discuss. It's a new program in Pike County called the Get Pike County Active program. It is sponsored by the Health Department and by the County Government. Uh, we want to introduce this program to the people of Pike County, give them some information, and if they're interested in participating, find out how to do, go about doing that. Uh, Shalebra, let's start with just a general question. What is the Get Pike County Active program? Get Pike County Active is a free 12-week exercise program sponsored by the Health Department. Um, along with Brian allowing us to use the community centers, and we're going out into the community. We're going to utilize six areas and we're going to help people lose weight, get active, and hopefully lower some cholesterol and diabetes rates. Cholesterol and diabetes. Let's go to some of the problems that brought this program about. What types of problems with diabetes do we have in our area? Pike County has the highest number of diabetes um, worldwide for Kentucky. Um, Kentucky statewide um, is number four out of the states for the highest diabetes rate. Um, our area um, are on um, lots of medications. We also have a very high cholesterol rate and our average weight per capita is considered obese for our area. So our hopes are that we want to help people um, learn how to eat right and how easy it is to get active in their community by utilizing the community centers, the parks, um, and also encouraging their children to get out and be more active instead of sitting in front of a TV or a um, video game. Okay, I assume our obesity rates are on par with the diabetes rates in Pike County? Yeah, we um, obesity rates and diabetes rates are, we're, we're fourth um, statewide. Okay, um, how did the Get Pike County Active Program start? What brought this program about? Um, my um, supervisor, Dr. Rangel, who's the director of the Pike County Health Department, he visited Ireland over the summer to see how our sister city was doing with their obesity and cholesterol rates. And they have a very, very low rate of obesity in Ireland. And the way they do things is they have community exercise programs, similar to what we do now with the boot camps um, that we do with Shake Senora and my office at Bartley Weight Loss. Uh, but he came back to us and he said, let's do something in the community. And that's when we got with Brian and asked if we could use the community centers. Um, so along with the knowledge that I have with nutrition and exercise, together we've come up with a 12-week free program. Okay. Uh, that was my next question. I was wondering how the Pike County government and the health department got together on this. Uh, to initiate this program. We have wonderful facilities in the county. Um, there are so many uh, playgrounds, community parks, walking paths. Um, we are blessed to be in an area full of nature trails. Um, so all we need to do really is just walk outside of our front door and there's a park or there's a recreational area, so many places in the county. Um, so when we go out and we tour these areas, um, I said, this is, this is perfect. We have the facilities. We just have to get the people to the facilities. So that's when I talked with Brian, and before I could even get the words out of my mouth, he said the, the answer is yes. Let, let's use these community centers and, and let's help our citizens. Let's help our people. Do the community centers have trails that will be involved in the program, or are we going to use the facilities themselves? All, all of the community centers have walking tracks. The majority have um, um, the playgrounds for the children. And so it's very easy for a parent to come and bring their children, let the children play, and they can access the walking tracks because they're loop tracks. So you can always see your children so they're not out of your sight. So you can still walk um, or push a stroller uh, and take your children with you and encourage your children to be active also. Okay. Uh, Brian? How many community centers will be participating in this program? The county has 12 community centers. Six is going to be utilized. Uh, uh, the city of Coe runs also using their facilities, is that correct? Yeah, um, Andrew Scott is allowing us to use the Coe Run Community Center and also um, the mayor of um, Elkhorn City, Mike Taylor, has also donated his um, community center. 
Um, so we'll be using um, Phelps Community Center, Kemper, um, Mouth Card, um, and um, the Dorton um, Community Centers in Pike County. And we have lots more community centers that hopefully if this program works and we have people to participate and they get healthy, then hopefully we can expand another 12-week session to include all of the community centers in Pike County. Okay, so we're talking about just a 12-week program that people will sign up and participate this in. This is a 12-week program. Um, the only stipulation that they, they just need to come to the health department. Um, and that they'll see me. I will give them nutritional counseling. They'll have a free cholesterol and diabetes screening, blood pressure, weight, height, um, and we'll get them a little booklet that gives them um, helpful tips and, and hints. And then starting November 1st, we're going to start exercising two days a week. Okay, uh, I'm going to repeat that. You go to the health department and sign up for this program. You have the month of October to register. Uh, there's no charge for this program. There is, is no correct? charge. There is no charge. You get um, nutritional counseling from me for no charge. Um, there's no charge to the patient for the cholesterol, diabetes screening. Everything that we do, there's, there's no charge. Uh, when you go to exercise at any of the six community centers, there is no charge. Okay, are there goals for the participants in this program? Some of the participants' goals are to lose weight. Um, I've had many people in um, today, this morning, um, their, their weights are perfect, but their cholesterol is horrible, or they're a type 2 diabetic. So everybody's goal may be different. Somebody's goal may be to lose 20 pounds, another may be to get off their diabetes medication, or to lower their total cholesterol. So everybody has different goals. So this is going to be quite an array of people. Um, I have 13 and 14 year old children who have signed up, all the way up to 70 year old men. So this is going to be a, a variety of ages um, with men, women, and children. There, there's not any cutoff or requirements. We simply want everybody to, to be more active. Okay. Uh, let me ask you about the program itself. Uh, if you have a 14-year-old child and you have a 70-year-old man, is the program the same for both of those, or are they leveled for uh the, the, exercise, the exercise components will be leveled, um, but they, they will also be taught how they can modify any exercise that's done in the class. So you can do an exercise and go as hard as you want, or, or there'll be modifications that the instructors will show you how to do. Okay. Uh, give me an example, if you would. Uh, take well, myself. If you can't do a jumping jack. Um, if you can't go through the motions of your arms and your legs together, simply raising your arms over your head or moving your feet out in front of you is the perfect because we want you to raise your heart rate. If you raise your heart rate, then your metabolic rate is increased and you're going to lose weight, lower your cholesterol, and lower your blood glucose levels. So simply raising your arms over your head and keep moving, even if you're walking in single file, you're still going to burn stored calories. So will they be group activities or the individuals on their each program? It'll be group activities through the week. Group activities and each group will have a Facebook page so that their group can keep in contact with each other. So that when if they decide that their group wants to walk early on a Wednesday morning or get together on a Saturday evening, then together they can go together and walk for their community walks. So these will be organized according to the community center where people participate, Yes, right? they as a group will be able to lead themselves and get together themselves. Now Pikeville, we already have a group walk. Um, we have our group walks on Sunday um, at 2 o'clock. Um, now that the weather has changed, sometimes it's at 6, but we like to do it around 2 or 3 o'clock. And we meet up at different areas, but that's my goal, is so that people that live in Phelps or Kemper or Belfry or wherever, they can have their own group walks, and at least once a week they're getting out for an hour and walking. So the health department in Pikeville is already, already has this program in place, and we're just expanding into the county. Uh, through the county government's participation. This, this is our first attempt at group exercise. The group exercise that we have now um, is what we do with the, the boot camps, with the weight loss, and Shake Senora. But everybody's welcome to that. That's just something that we've just come up with when we, through the past two years when we've done boot camp. Um, that's our goal, was to get our community more active. So we invite anyone that wants to come out for Sunday group walks and runs to come. It's not just for a boot camp, it's for everybody in the community. Okay. Uh, I know there's been a lot of talk about the boot camp program through the uh, 
dietary side of that, uh, people on the diet that the boot camp specifies. Uh, will that be similar to this program? Will there uh, be certain foods that they'll it be? It depends on people's likes. If um, I have a very picky eater, then I have a different diet plan. If I have someone who can eat meats and fruits and vegetables, um, then I'm suggesting that they go on the boot camp diet. And so far, everybody has really enjoyed it um, and think it's going to be pretty easy for them to follow because it's a wide variety. It's fruits and vegetables and meats. Um, it's just mainly the timing of when you eat your foods is what really gets people. Some people think they can eat fruit all day long and that they're doing a good thing and they're losing weight, but that's not true. You need to have your fruits first thing in the morning. So that's where I come in, just to help guide people on what to eat and when to eat and when the best time is to eat those different food groups. Okay. Uh, let's assume someone participates in this 12-week program. Is there a follow-up or a second program that they can participate in, or are they on their own after the 12 weeks? They are not on their own by no means. Um, after the 12 weeks, um, we're going to weigh them again. We're going to do cholesterol and diabetes screenings again to look at their numbers. Have they lowered? Um, what part of the program did you enjoy the most? And again, if we have the participants and we can show that our numbers are getting better, then we can continue the program. So once you begin the program, it doesn't necessarily stop at 12 weeks. It can no. be a continuous thing that you can participate from then on. Hopefully I'll be able to provide the free program. Okay. But in its sense too, my hopes is that in 12 weeks that the exercise and the diet becomes habit. Right. That you, you want to go and you want to walk and you want to do things. You want to go out with your family on a hike instead of going to the movies. You want to have more of an active lifestyle. So that's my hope, is that within 12 weeks, I can convince people um, to eat healthy and to get out and live, so to speak. Well, I think most people that would like to participate maybe are afraid of exercise a little bit because they haven't been active. Uh, what would you say to those people that they would like to participate, but they're afraid they won't be able to do it or they just haven't been active in, in a while? The, the exercise classes are going to be modified um, if you can come to class and if you simply walk in place and move your arms up and down, you're going to get the same amount as somebody else who's not as much weight, who's going full force in the class. This is not Zumba. Um, a lot of people are concerned about that. It's not Zumba. It's not a ripped class or a hits class. This is simply just good old fashioned exercise. Okay. Uh, tell me about the evening visit itself. Is it an hour long? You come it's and you stay hour. an hour and you mm -hmm. start and you just kind of run me through what people will expect. <clears throat> Brian is going to coordinate with his magistrates to have the community centers open. They'll come there. Some classes are at 630. The majority are at 630. I do have one morning class. A 9 a.m. class will be at Phelps. <clears throat> but the majority are at 630. You'll come in and we'll get started right at 630. Um, you'll have two leaders, for the most part, who will be leading the exercise program. We'll have music and we'll have handheld weights for the participants. So all you have to bring is yourself. Bring a water. You might need a, might need a bottle of water. Um, and then for an hour, they get some good old-fashioned exercise. And they also get fellowship. They get fellowship with their community. Um, it's not only just come out and exercise, but hopefully we can bring the communities together so that they can form relationships. So after the 12-week program is over, then they can get together and continue to exercise on their own also. Okay, that's a good goal to have. How long have you been doing this, Celebra? Um, I've been in the weight loss business for about four years. Um, our boot camps with the exercise component started two years ago. Okay. Um, I'm gonna go to a personal question. I understand you went to Chicago this weekend. <laughs> I did. Uh, maybe you better tell us about that. Wonderful experience. They really rolled out the red carpet for the marathoners in Chicago is wonderful. For those who don't know, Shalebra participated in the Chicago Marathon this weekend. Was it your first marathon? It was my seventh. Seventh? Seventh full marathon. Well, then we have someone that knows what they're doing here, don't <laughs> we, Brian? We do. <laughs> we do. Uh, is there anything you'd like to add, Shalebra, that we haven't covered? Something you want people to know? The appointments are booking up for October. Um, so the if appointments to sign up for, for the, the health department because they had to come to the health department to see me. Now I am taking the mobile unit um, to Phelps um, and I have those dates and times posted on the Get Pike County Active Facebook page. 
Um, but the, the appointments for October are booking up very quickly. Is there so a limit to, to how many people can participate? There's not a limit, um, but I'm limited to signing people up in the month of October. Um, so they, they need to call to make an appointment with me to see me so I can go over all the, their lab work and their nutritional counseling. I got you. So, so, so they're limited that I need to see them in October, but we're not limited on the number of people because the community centers are beautiful, they're wonderful, they're huge areas. So we'll be able to accommodate many, many, many people um, for the exercise classes, but they've got to get in to see me. Okay. So there's, there's no limit on how many people can participate. No. But if you want to begin, you have to go sign up quickly to start in November. And that's correct? very easy. Just call the health departments, 437-5500. Just tell them you need a, an appointment to see me for the Get Pike County Active Program and they'll give you an appointment. Okay, we'll have a screen with the locations and the phone numbers so people who are interested can contact you as quickly as possible. Sounds good. Uh, we appreciate you coming down, Brian Thank and Shalebra, and joining us. Uh, Brian, as the representative of the county government, is there anything you'd like to add to the discussion about the county's participation in this new program? Other than just encouraging all Pike Countyans to come out and support this program, the efforts that the health departments put together to make this happen for Pike County, you know, they, they need to have a big thank you to the health department. This is wonderful efforts. We need the participation of the Pike County citizens. To I, I love to see this program grow further than the 12 weeks that, that it's on tap for right now. This is something that needs to be year round. Uh, we need to hit every Pike County citizen that wants to come and be active in this program. Get Pike County active. It is a cooperative effort between Pike County government and the Pike County Health Department. Uh, we hope you enjoy the show and that some of this information will be beneficial to you and you can participate in this uh, positive program that we have here in Pike County. This has been Pike County Update. I'm Dr. James Riley, and we appreciate your time.